So a few months ago, I talked about some of the advantages of bringing back Disneyland's People Mover in my first video on this channel, as well as my Why the People Mover Should Be Brought Back video. We talked about some ideas, like building a glass bubble around the track, installing a camera safety system, but one aspect of the whole issue that I failed to discuss that a lot of you guys commented about was the true reason why the People Mover had never reopened. During the video, I talked about how the People Mover had a bit of a history of people falling out of its trains, and sort of labeled this as one of the main reasons for its closure. And while it was a factor, the main reason for its closure was more of an economic decision, and they also thought it just wasn't as futuristic anymore. A decision that would ultimately afflict Tomorrowland. Forever. So, during the 1995 makeover of Tomorrowland, the People Mover was replaced by the Rocket Rods, a high-speed thrill attraction that featured cars representing a futuristic high-speed transit system traveling down the People Mover track at around 35 miles per hour, roughly the same speed as Space Mountain. The Rocket Rods, however, would close after only two years of operation in the year 2000. The reason for this that I glossed over in my two videos was that the Rocket Rod cars were extremely heavy and damaged the People Mover track to the point that the ride was shut down and would never reopen. Now here's where I went wrong during my two videos. Because I had poorly researched this portion of the videos, basically I explained that the reason why the People Mover had never reopened was because of its history of people falling from it, and mostly just provided solutions to that issue. Thankfully, some of my sharp-eyed viewers in the comments section spotted this flaw and called me out on it. So I'd like to take this time to correct myself. The main reason why nothing has been done with the People Mover track since the closing of the Rocket Rods is because of the true extent of the damage that has been done to the track. Now let's analyze this a little further. At the moment, Disney is left with two options for what they can do with this track. Obviously, they can remove the track entirely, which could potentially improve crowd flow down the land's main entrance, as well as generally improve the current condition of Tomorrowland, eliminating one of its many abandoned attractions. On the other side of the spectrum, Disney can take the time and money to repair sections of the track, as well as maybe remove other parts that are damaged beyond repair and bring a few things up to code. And of course, restore the ride. Being the sentimental individual that I am, I obviously prefer the latter. Both of these decisions, however, have many flaws. A complete removal of the track would mean a shutdown of Tomorrowland for at least a few months, as the People Mover weaves through most of the attractions. Either that or a temporary shutdown of all the attractions that would be affected which would include the Astro Orbiter, Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters, Star Tours, Pizza Planet, Autopia, Tamar Landing, the Submarine Voyage, and the Disneyland Monorail, which would mean a poorly distributed crowd and transportation complications with the closing of the monorail. Not to mention they'd probably have to redesign a big portion of the platform that the Observatron sits upon. Now, if they were to restore, or at least repurpose, the People Mover track, it would also mean the temporary closure of multiple attractions, in addition to a laundry list of safety features and structural integrity to bring up to today's code, which has changed significantly in the last few years. Uh, 23, to be exact. Now, the situation is icky either way, and I would imagine it's the reason why Disney has not done much regarding the track in the past 20 years. So now you guys are up to speed. All is not lost, however. As we've observed with the help of other Disneyland channels like Fresh Baked, a few cast members have been seen inspecting the People Mover track in the recent months, and just generally improve the state of Tomorrowland. I talked about this a lot in my Tomorrowland is Broken video. I'll be sure to link it down below, just go watch it and ignore the People Mover parts that are wrong. Now the title of this video is Why We Can't Bring Back the People Mover, and the reason for that is because we can certainly reintroduce the People Mover, however, Disney will likely never be able to restore the People Mover to its original glory, mainly because of the aforementioned conditions. And that's assuming that Disney tried to. If Disney were to attempt to restore the People Mover at Disneyland, we would likely see a version similar to that of the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover at Walt Disney World, which is a really good ride still. It's just generally considered a lesser attraction to the Disneyland variant because of its lack of elevation changes and just generally not having the scenery that Disneyland has. Honestly though, this would be a major upgrade to the current state of Tomorrowland and would give purpose to a piece of the park that has been abandoned for the last 23 years. Once again, a big Big thank you to all my viewers in the comments section of my Why the People Mover Should Be Brought Back as well as my Tomorrowland is Broken video who corrected me on my errors. By the way, sorry for the lack of uploads lately. I've been sick for the past week and then I've also been doing a lot of studying for my midterms at school as well as balancing making videos for my other channels and then my actual real life job. Now that a lot of that's finished though, I'm going to try to return to the regular uploading schedule for this channel. Other than that, that's all I've got for you guys today. So per the usual, I am the Space Mountaineer and hopefully I will see you in the next video.